right? All these rocker arms, rocker arms, rocker arms. You put the rocker arms on? Mm -hmm. Why are you changing rocker arms? Because uh, since we have a new cam, the load needs to be lessened. So th these have a, these will put less pressure on the spring, which will put less weight on the rocker arm. Yep. On the rocker arm that will put less pressure on the cam and the lifter to yep. break it in. And then we'll switch over to our race rock, uh, race rockers. Yeah. Which is 1.5. So, um, the difference there is I'm going to get my phone. I'm going to help myself with my phone. So here's a cam card. So you can see, I think you can see that, that the, uh, the lift, now we're not, we're not allowed a big cam. This is a class car and we're only allowed 390 lift on the intake and 410 lift on the exhaust. So the, the lift at the lobe here on the intake is 260. So 260 times 1.5 is 390. So it's 260 lift at the cam, but once you multiply it by the ratio of the rocker, you end up with the, the lift of 390. So basically, um, we're taking a 260 lift and multiply that times 1.3. Now our lift is only 338. Essentially, it just doesn't push the valve open as far, so it doesn't push the spring down as far, and it's, it, it's less of a load. And when these cam and lifters mate, well, and this isn't a roller cam. We're only allowed to use like a, a this is originally a hydraulic cam, but we're, they allow us to use solid lifters. Um, huge performance advantage because the thing will actually rev up. But uh, it's got nothing for lift, any duration. And uh, when, when the cam is ground, it's actually ground to where the lobe itself is not completely flat and straight. It actually has a little bit of curve to it and the lifter will rotate because of the way that's ground. And if the lifter doesn't rotate, um, it will wear the, it'll wear the cam out because the lifters are way harder than this cam. This is only a cast cam. We do have a billet cam, but this is a cam that we're just trying. And this cam is like 300 bucks. A, a billet cam is like a thousand bucks. So we try different cam grinds and when we find one we like, then we would have it built into a billet cam. So uh, it'll last a lot longer. This thing will last, this cam's good for maybe two race seasons, that's it. And it starts wearing itself out. And once it starts wearing itself out, it starts putting metal in the engine and you know, that's not good. So, so that's why we're using these rockers for the initial startup. We're going to uh, break it in uh, we'll use break-in oil, we'll cha uh, change the, the oil, change the rockers back to our 1.5s, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to go. So that's, that's why we're doing what we're doing with the rockers. Okay, go ahead. Stop. Okay, go ahead.
right, those are all adjusted. Did you want to check this one? Uh, yeah, let's recheck that one. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I'll check them both while we're here. Keep going. All right. Okay. Okay. That's a little tight. I'll uh, I'll take a little bit out of that. Perfect. All right, that's it. You putting them in right? Yeah. Oh, I am. <laughs> After you called me a dang yeah. bat. Put them in there bass backwards. That's a good one. Mm hmm All right, come on down. Up a little bit. All right, right there. 